Remember not too long ago, when we needed separate devices for everything? A GPS for navigation, an MP3 player for music, a camera, a landline phone, and so on. Each device had its own purpose and system, but carrying all those gadgets around was a hassle. The smartphone changed that by combining all these functions into one device, creating a seamless user experience. This is the same idea behind hyperconverged infrastructure, which aims to consolidate multiple infrastructure components into a single integrated platform. Traditionally, IT architecture is built around three main infrastructure components, virtual machines, or VMs, for running web servers and applications, storage arrays for data hosting, particularly SAN infrastructure, and networking equipment to connect everything. This is known as a three-tier infrastructure, where each component is treated as a separate system and managed independently. This means that any updates or changes need to be made at each level separately. With technical silos come multiple management interfaces, different vendors with their unique technical specifications, and so on. This makes managing everything quite complex for organizations. This is where hyper-converged infrastructure, also called HCI, comes in. It offers a new approach by tightly integrating storage, networking, and virtualization components into a single, often appliance-based, solution from a single vendor, a turnkey infrastructure. Behind this solution, you'll find a hypervisor for virtualized computing power, software-defined storage, and network virtualization. These components are closely integrated through software on a single physical platform, which reduces the overall complexity of the system. Nutanix is widely recognized as the leading vendor in the hyper-converged infrastructure market. The other challengers in the HCI market are VMware, Dell, HPE, and Microsoft. This simplified architecture allows for rapid scalability of the infrastructure. When you reach maximum capacity, you can simply add more appliances or nodes to increase available resources without disrupting the overall architecture. This node cluster is managed through a single interface, simplifying the administration of all resources from one management console. This makes everyday tasks like setting up, updating, expanding, or maintaining the system easier. Now, let's take a look at the benefits of hyperconvergence. Organizations can easily adjust and expand their infrastructure by simply adding new nodes, leading to more efficient resource management. Hyperconverged infrastructure lowers costs by simplifying architectures, resulting in fewer devices to purchase and maintain, lower licensing fees, and a single team to manage everything. HCI delivers superior performance and stability through close integration of components. Data is stored locally on the same nodes hosting the virtual machines, eliminating bottlenecks and connectivity issues. HCI allows resource pooling and better workload distribution. If a node fails, the workload can continue running on the remaining nodes without any issues. With a simplified, scalable architecture, businesses can reduce time to market by deploying new applications and services more quickly. Let's see the main use cases for HCI. HCI allows organizations to achieve a level of agility similar to that of public cloud infrastructure. This is why HCI is particularly popular for setting up private clouds. A private cloud is a gateway to a hybrid cloud, merging on-premises hyper-converged infrastructure with public cloud services offering data security on-site while using public cloud for handling spikes in demand. HCI enables the consolidation of data centers by optimizing resource usage and reducing the amount of required hardware. The hardware abstraction provided by hyperconvergence allows for a unified operational model. Virtual Desktop Infrastructure, or VDI. This refers to the implementation of a virtual desktop environment which is also facilitated by hyperconverged infrastructure. Hyperconverged infrastructure simplifies the deployment of remote sites with its turnkey solution, combining various infrastructure components into one package. This makes deployment easier and more cost-effective compared to traditional architectures. To further this logic, we also have disaster recovery plans, 
or DRP. Thanks to automated node configuration, an extended cluster can be backed up to a remote site. Rapid restorations, in just a few minutes, are possible due to the tight integration of backups, snapshots, data, and the runtime environment. Thanks for tuning in. If this video was useful to you, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you stay updated with my future content. And if you know someone who might find it helpful, feel free to share it. See you in the next video. Bye for now.